opinion in regard to the impact? Yes, uh, as I was saying, I want to congratulate William the Fifth. As now, sorry, let me interject there. Let's uh, le have a listen in to uh, lead counsel, senior counsel, and elect governor elect CIA James Orengo there in Mani. Are we all right? First and foremost, I want to thank our team of lawyers. As we know, we are a team of nearly 50 lawyers, and we have been working very hard for the last 14 days, this being the final day. Secondly, we want to thank our clients, the petitioner number one, Raila Molodinga, petitioner number two, uh, Martha Karoa, and other eminent persons in this team, including senior counsel Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, for having their trust and confidence in this team of lawyers to prosecute their case uh, in petition number five, which has been consolidated with other petitions and uh, put their case before the Supreme Court. I want to say without a fear of contradiction that we do not agree with the decision of the uh, Supreme Court. Like Al Gore, I will say uh, we accept the decision, but we do not agree with it. And I am saying this as a seasoned practitioner that uh, courts sometimes make mistakes which are be, to be corrected over time. Courts make political decisions. As you know, in the United States of America, there has been a long-standing uh, case that has been held as universal truth of jurisprudence uh, uh, involving women's rights, Roe versus Wade. It took, it took them 50 years to overturn that case because of a Republican uh, Congress and uh, a Republican president and uh, a Supreme Court that was basically appointed by Republicans. And therefore, I want to say, yes, in accordance with the law, we've got to accept this decision, decision as the law of the land. But I think it is a very... Uh,